Major speaking from Dhammaram in Bangkok with the news that this is the 10th anniversary of Ajahn Amro's master stroke of taking on Amravati and I want to express my gratitude and appreciation for all he has, for all he has done. We are stuck here in Bangkok for now because I have been promoted to a very high rank in the Thai Sangha and by the king, so I have to wait for the ceremonial function and also I was invited by uh, Lumpur Liam to attend the, the annual celebration of Lumpur Chao's life on the 16th of January. So I regret to say I won't be able to come back to Amravati uh, until uh, two months from now. Uh, we were supposed to leave today. This is the 20th of November here in Thailand, but uh, because of these uh, unexpected events, we've had to delay our departure. I am very well and give my blessings and best wishes to Ajahn Amro and all the attendees of this uh, celebration. is from the possibility
this the Gentiles' creation? I can't say it's not. <laughs>
we'd like to ask for forgiveness from Tanajan Amaro.
And now we like to take Nisaya dependence. Please sit uh, comfortably. I'm extremely moved, touched by this uh, uh, gesture of um, the uh, appreciation and uh, re uh, recognizing the uh, ten-year mark of my time as the uh, abbot of Amravati. Particularly surprised to hear Lumpur Sumato's voice. <laughs> and. Uh, also this uh, fantastic creation to bring about the, uh, the ceremonial hand washing and uh, much appreciation, appreciation for Achan Da's uh, skill and ingenuity. Uh, this is uh, to mark my uh, 10 years in the role of abbot at Amravati. And uh, as I mentioned uh, to Sangha members uh, in previous meetings, uh, in the, uh, in the last few weeks, um, even though we don't have within the Buddhist tradition a, uh, a form of, um, say, uh, uh, the leader of a monastery, the, the abbot, um, uh, say, having a, a term of office, uh, as they do in some Christian traditions for five years or seven years or ten years, um, uh, I do feel that is a, a skillful structure to have in place. And so, uh, as I've mentioned to others, uh, I would uh, like to uh, at this point say I'm very happy to have served for 10 years and I'm happy to continue um, but I, I feel it's good to say I don't assume that I will always be welcome in this role and that uh, the uh, not maybe not welcome but uh, it might be better to have somebody else uh, to take uh, my place along the way and so that uh, uh, just to rest, uh, I encourage everyone, everyone to rest assured this is not a veiled sort of departure speech in any way, but rather I feel it's a, a way of uh, keeping a focus on the role of Abbot as a role, it's a service, it's not an identity. And that the, uh, the important thing is to, to see this as a, a way of, say, supporting the community to help to uh, uh, create an environment wherein people can practice Dhamma and come together, live according to the precepts and train the heart to realize the end of suffering. So I see this kind of a role, even though there's a lot of, uh, sort of glorious accoutrements, <laughs> the, a lot of, uh, uh, say, uh, 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 honor and respect and a, a, a kind of a colorful aspect to being in the central position. I do see it as a role of service, and uh, I feel that, um, uh, so, uh, that 
it's important to keep that in mind then it's not an identity that uh, should be considered to be lasting forever and so that just as Lumpur Sumedho stepped down as being abbot from uh, from Amravati uh, and invited me to take up this position then at this point of 10 years uh, uh, I'm very happy to say I've uh, been say, appreciating, appreciative of the opportunity to serve and be part of this community I lived here for 10 years from 1985 to 1995 um, but uh, I would like to say if anyone does wish uh, uh, for me to, to step out of this role or thinks that it will be uh, good for someone else to t take it up then please write me a note. <laughs> uh, I'm serious, uh, I, uh, I'm laughing but I'm serious yeah? and because I do feel it's a skillful thing to not assume that one's in this role for, forever and ever but it's something that is just like any other Sangha office, if you're the stores nun, or you're the work monk, or you're the, yeah, the guest nun, or the, the lodgings monk, you, you do it for a time, you, you fulfill that service, and then you step out of it. It's not a permanent identity, it's a way of supporting the, uh, the community. So I make that offer to, to everybody to please uh, uh, let me know if you think uh, uh, that uh, 10 years has been enough. <laughs> and that uh, it would be better to, uh, to pass on the baton, but also to uh, do TMP, say I'm totally happy to, uh, to carry on in this role. As I, I launched the long-term uh, development program, the uh, Amravati long-term plan, I think it would be highly irresponsible to, uh, to step out of the picture right now, <laughs> particularly as we have the, uh, uh, the planning application for the Sala, uh, sort of the, moving ahead and the, the buildings in the nuns area all underway and so forth. So uh, Tati Empi, I'm not planning to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm very happy to continue in this role. Uh, I feel at the age of 64 I'm just getting started uh, in, the, in the human realm, just getting the hang of it. And so that uh, I, uh, I'm very uh, say, uh, appreciative of this opportunity and I also see that uh, even though um, when I first came here, there was a, a few uh, a few voices said uh, that uh, they didn't think I was going to last more than a couple of years. Uh, I was uh, I've been very happy to find that it has lasted more than a couple of years, and that uh, I feel that things have uh, worked uh, in a in a good and wholesome, uh, beneficial way for for most people uh, during this time, which is something that brings great great joy and, and peace to my heart. I feel as a a uh, quality of well-being uh, in the community. With respect to um, the the uh, the future, and uh, I think uh, Achan Da's wonderful construction here is a, a good example. Um, we we might consider how the, how things are going to work out for our community in the future. How's it going to be for the monks' community, the nuns' community, the, with the building program, with the pandemic, and with the the ecological crisis in the in the world. How how are things going to be in the future? And uh, looking at this wonderful uh, construction, this beautiful Naga fountain, <laughs> this, uh, draped in in holly and uh, and uh, fur uh, and and flowers, I was reminded of this uh, this gentleman who used to be a metal worker near Chithurst, a man called Bill Mundy. And he had a, a workshop um, near Petersfield, and he, in the early days of Chithurst, he did a, a large number of, of wonderful pieces of metalwork to help the, 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 the house to be um, to re, uh, uh, reappointed and made livable. And uh, we wanted him to build a spiral, st a spiral staircase from the first floor into the attic. And we thought, oh, this is so tight a space, you know, it's, it's really narrow, and how's it going to work? And, and so when we, uh, we went round to, to Bill Mundy's workshop and, and there it was, he, he'd, he'd created this spiral staircase and he'd figured out exactly how to, to construct it, to make it in pieces and how to put it in place and for it to work exactly as it needed to in that, uh, uh, in that corner of the building. And those uh, who've been in that part of Chithurst House will know that that spiral staircase is indeed still there. And I remember very clearly, we were saying, this is amazing, you know, how, how did you do it? Because it's such a complicated thing, it's such a tight corner. And he said, there's always a way. I can almost hear his voice as he said that, there's always a way. And uh, he was, a, so he was a, a metal worker, skilled with his hands, but he also had a, a great natural wisdom as well. And I feel just like with, how do you do a socially distanced hand washing? Hmm. 
So I think uh, Achantara is channeling Bill Mundy. Like, mm, there's always a way. There's a, there's a way this can be done. And uh, I feel that's a good principle for life in the Sangha, you know, how it's going to work out with the pandemic, with the ecological uh, crisis, the heat, sort of the melting of the ice caps, the difficulties of, uh, of living uh, in a, a very traditional monastic form in the in 21st century uh, sort of global uh, human community. Uh, how's it all going to work? How's it going to... Uh, how's it going to develop? What are we going to do? How are we going to work this? How's it, how are we going to solve all our, our problems and meet all these challenges? So in this respect, and on this occasion, I'd like to quote Bill Mundy once again, there's always a way. And it's that uh, capacity that we have to, to uh, see, open the mind to the whole situation, to draw upon intuitive wisdom, to, to listen to the... Uh, the, the, uh, the so the intelligence and the, the, the feeling of the heart for the way that nature works. And then we find a way. That there is always a way we can, uh, we can work to deal with uh, the, the pandemic, to, to work with each other, to say, develop skillful ways of practicing, of living, of uh, creating the, the structures that are useful to us. There's always a way. And it takes that kind of thoughtful, caring uh, consideration to, uh, to find what that way is. And so uh, on this occasion, I'll uh, like to express my gratitude for all of the, um, the good effort everyone has put into making this, uh, this uh, lovely ceremony to mark this 10-year point. And uh, maybe it'll be another, another 10 years or 20 or <laughs> who knows. But uh, I appreciate very much uh, this gesture today, particularly Ajahn Yanarata, who's been crafting all the details together, and uh, all of the people who've been weaving together the, the, the flowers and the and leaves and this amazing piece of uh, n architecture. <laughs> that uh, this is a, a very beautiful and lovely gesture. And may this occasion be something that encourages everyone here to, to carry on, to say, develop the practice um, and to uh, say bring about the uh, the purpose that we're all here for which is the full and complete ending of dukkha Speaking of ingenuity, I was wondering why I had this warm feeling in my back when somebody with great, <laughs> great forethought has put a hot water bottle inside the Zafu cover. <laughs> How do you keep the Ajahn warm when all the windows are open? So, put a hot water bottle in the cushion cover. So, 